Is it one? No, it's two. Sad by sad, I don't have no clue. I'm talking the hardest, shedding out gigs. Cappy is the name takes out of the blue. CM is the one with sense. Hence, you can't just sit on the fence. Come true the foolishness, just look at the gaffer and sit on the bench. When you talk about wins, we got that. Time to settle this thing with a chop back. Aim top corner, roll top scorers. We spread the play that floor up. Out in the field, United twins are the next of kings. Question debate is a show that brings in a one feet one trying to see who wins. And UFC. Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line, Aston Villa 3, Manchester United 1. And today was a game that highlighted many problems that are and have been apparent since the start of the season. There's been a lot of talk recently about how our squad could possibly be able to cope with the fixture congestion as time goes by with the result. On Thursday, of course, against Real Sociedad, meaning we will have two extra games in the Europa League knockout round. But this, for me, is the first issue I want to bring up. The lack of quality depth available to us at this current moment of time is not good enough to consistently compete when the changes do come around on days like today. Aston Villa came out the blocks like they just had their tyres changed which they did and we looked the complete opposite we were played through ways too easy in the middle time and time again not being able to block those passing lanes and we didn't close down the opposition at the right times everything was a step too slow today in the first half we did start to ascend after 25 to 30 minutes getting that goal before half time was crucial and I did believe there was a way back into the game at that point before we conceded the third in the second half, which was just poor defending within itself. By the time it reached Jacob Ramsey, nobody was aware or anywhere near him. And credit to the finish, of course, it was absolutely brilliant. But a lack of closing down, a lack of intensity at the back. And that led to us being two goals down yet again. Never believed we could get back into the game after that point because we haven't been the most innovative when it comes to creating chances against a side who could just sit back and defend their advantage. Overall, what we've been able to do in recent times is a reminder of how we have developed in a short amount of time. But today and a few other occasions during this season are a reminder of how far we still have to go. So... Manchester United fans, it's another case of being patient, not allowing these results to aggravate you or, or get you in a space where once again there's panic, there's a whole load of negativity. There are going to be days like this, so we just have to learn from them and hope that the team are learning from them in those training sessions, analysing those clips and seeing how they can get better. There's an opportunity there for a couple guys today with a few missing and we just never rose to the occasion. Yes, there were moments that showed our ability to control possession and put teams under pressure, but those moments were few and far between. That is something we should be looking to move away from. And this is why I have to pivot away from the squad and call on the ownership and recruitment teams to use every single transfer window to their advantage. But I've read so many contrasting stories regarding the January transfer window, but what seems to be factual, based off of what I've heard from people in those departments, are that Manchester United are not looking to make moves in Jan, which in my opinion is a big mistake. We are in desperate need of depth and quality in multiple positions. Whether that's through permanent transfers or loans, we have to be smart about this. If it was to happen, then United, of course, would have to be scouting and putting together a list of targets who they're paying attention to. Do you trust that they are doing that? Let us know in the comments section below. I certainly hope so. And also let us know what you thought of the game, the result, and what that means for us going forward. But ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed this video, 
please be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new share to your friends and your frenemies sure to follow us on all socials at cm22 ent twitter tiktok be sure to follow us on twitch uh, join the community discord large up all the 22s in the cut i like what cm said we've just got a hope that in these moments that will come during the course of this season team the coaching staff and everybody else are analyzing and seeing how we can get better as a group as a collective going forwards and look with time we've got to add to this team we've got to get rid of the players that eric ten Hag doesn't see fit there may have been some players in the team today but i'm not going to say too much on that one so ladies and gentlemen we'll be back in the midweek i believe we have a Carabao cup game against aston villa so hopefully we can avenge that loss and then we'll have Fulham on the weekend, which is our final game before the World Cup. So be sure to enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a strong start to the week. Don't let this result hit you too hard. We just move. We go again. And until then, we'll see you lots in a bit, people. <laughs>